Um, I'm going to review a uh, VOD review, a game that we played pretty recently, and I'm just going to basically go through my thoughts and see if that's helpful for anyone. I'm just doing my standard route here. I, I really like this. Plasmark's really good. Uh, Adam's fucking overpowered. Rocker's Jacket and uh, White Crane Fan are just on the route. <clears throat> this is the game after I got Diamond. So this this lobby, I actually looked on deck. Uh, this is a Plat 1 lobby. So this is pretty representative of around like Plat 1, Diamond 4. Right away, on the loading screen and in the character select, the main thing I'm worried about is Aya. Aya is terrifying. Aya is the number one cause of our death in Hotel, because she counters both of our characters, and she power spikes incredibly hard at the end of day one, the beginning of night one. It's a very rough matchup. This is just standard looting, um, looting one full cluster. Nothing special here. <laughs> Basically going in, trying to get my items. I misplay here. I should have gotten the milk immediately. I, uh, the goal is to make honey milk. Adrian is not a character who needs a tremendous amount of SP, and getting honey milk uh, really helps out my uh, duo partner because Lennox is extremely mana-hungry early in the game, and one engagement can completely deplete her mana pool. I drink two drinks, and then I drop the honey, because I, I can't do anything with the honey anymore. You can only have two drinks ticking at the same time, and I don't want my inventory to be filled with uh, superfluous stuff. I have the four honey milk made already. Finishing White Crane Fan. A nice bit of uh, movement speed. I pick up this feather because my duo needs feather. Need it for the weapon. So I want to make sure that nobody else takes it. Uh, drop the feather in a safe place. This, there's another feather there, but it's the thought that counts, and I'd rather grief feathers and get my partner their white crane fan and their weapon rather than, you know, nothing. My duo partner dropped the steel chain on the ground for me because we have communicated before the game uh, what items we need. Uh, there is a turtle shell there, but I cannot currently grab it. There's a turtle shell there, but I cannot currently grab it. I was really hoping to find some uh, piano wear. Take the slippers so Alex can't take them. If Alex took my slippers, that would have been really, like, exceptionally bad. Piano wire here, that's good. I, I can clear up my inventory with one piano wire. I know there's turtle shells up here, so I want to go grab them. I can get piano wire in hotel, so as long as I get a turtle shell from here, we're good. I can create my diatom, but also killing the bat is just like good. You can RNG leather like I did there. That's extremely good. And the correct play here is to uh, grab the surveillance camera. Grab the surveillance camera. If you pop it next to the tree, you have vision of the tree. My duo partner is currently being chased out of hotel by a psychotic Aya. They are extremely slow now. We cannot contest tree. <laughs> like, there is not a snowball's chance of hell. I'm behind. My partner is super behind, because they, they, they do not want to be there. <laughs> they do not want to be in that zone. <laughs> they want to be in a hotel. But Aya does whatever the fuck she wants. Uh, Lennox just saw an Alex, so they are delayed even further. This is not a wonderful start. I could get run down and die. You see on the mini-map, the Aya just took the tree. That's cool. 
It's very hard for Sniper Aya to kill a camera. It takes a while. Sometimes they just won't do it. And if they do, then it takes a while. And you have plenty of time to react. Like, there's no, there's no excuse to die to an Aya. Uh, once you have cameras down. Getting Plasma Arc, which is the new best uh, arm piece for Adrian, in my opinion, out of the basic items. It is much, much better than the Sheath. This is just a standard third party. This is really unfortunate when this happens to us, but, you know, we go after Zaheer both because he's low health and because he has no, no mobility. Eleven has her taunt, but that's it. She used it. E away. Zaheer has no mobility. We just run him down. Eleven gets away. We can't, we can't really chase after Eleven. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We got the one kill. We're good. Briefly check on the Alex. Alex is gone. Not my problem. We got what we came here for. Uh, Zaheer, unfortunately, has no chest piece. That's really bad. I never got a Windbreaker. Let me move in towards school here. Uh, we see a ping up at the top. This is risky, but I'm a greedy player, so I'm going to look for my Windbreaker. <laughs> Get cameras here. We know there's somebody on the entrance to archery range, and we know that somebody is at the top side of school. I always like that, just for a little bit of safety, just because bush dying to bush campers is not very fun. And we're desperately looking for a windbreaker. I have repaired slippers in my inventory, just in case, for some glacial shoes, in case we can't get anything else. Uh, Scotty is better than glacial shoes, but glacial shoes is better than nothing. Complete my rocker's jacket. I ideally want to get rid of uh, either the rocker's jacket, the white crane fan, or both, because uh, healing cut, uh, the melee, the Linux has it on their weapon. I don't need it. I, I just build those items because they're convenient. We see lots of pings in pond. We see lots of pings to the top side of alley. This is really awkward. We do not have our weapon skill. We are not very strong. We, see, we know that somebody sees us in Avenue. They have cams. This is very awkward. We choose uh, Bridge because we're stronger at Bridge. It's very hard to miss Adriana skill shots when uh, in a very small confined area. So Pond is a wonderful place to fight, even if you're behind. Grab the ribbon here to prep for a Moonlight Pendant. Grab Vision here. I'm just putting down the Kling Clatters. Uh, for some extra trap experience. Same the same reason I'm making the bamboo traps. I'm just looking for experience. Trap experience is very easy to get. Uh, you can get the initial, especially like the first five levels, like exceptionally easily. They're super nice to have. Same reason I'm making all these green traps. I'm just looking for experience. Keeping the battery over the turtle shell because I'm hoping for a dyadic at some point, but I'm not like actively looking for it. Dyadic is, it's it's a decent upgrade, but it's not like worth booming your inventory for. And Mithril Sealed is, is an upgrade over Plasma Arc, but Plasma Arc is also just really good. I, I get to replace my White Crane Fan here, which is fantastic. I do not want to have White Crane Fan. Now instead of the Turtle Shell, I pick up a Bandage, just in case, because Auto Arms would be very nice. Prep the Bracelet. Now, tree's about ready to spawn. We see a team in at the top edge of pond. I pan the camera over. That's uh, that's one of the sniper eyes. I really don't want to uh, fuck with them too much, but it looks like they're going after meteorite. Go over to look. Oh, look! Lots of lots of surveillance cameras. Very cool. They have vision. Who's here? What do you know? It's a fucking Nadine. <laughs> fucking Nadine. 
<laughs> who got this from Fog, of course. So we have to back off. And this this is just like tree politics. You see the eleven here. You see the Hyun Woo here. You see the teams. Like we do not want to fight. We do not want to get third partied. Like <laughs> Nadine just blew her ult. She blew her weapon skill. Like that's cool. If we were alone here, we could just eat and turn back. But we are not alone here. Like th this is a fucking clown fiesta waiting to happen. The eleven, I believe, is the rat. And then you have the sniper Aya, so sell a team coming up, and they could easily, 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 easily third party. It looks like they are ta being a straight line to the tree. We do not want uh, to be part of that because a three-way fight is a giant clown fiesta. We don't want any. We don't want any part of this. Staying back at a super safe distance. We are at, like, Nadine max Q range. What we're really hoping for... Like, the ideal situation is the Aya and the Sisela realize that tree is up, realize that they are, like, two inches away from them, and then we sit there at max range, IRW, IRW, and just kind of keep them there. And then they fight, and then we third-party them. And But we stay extremely safe uh, be, uh, from both of them. The, the Nadine Q just... Uh, it has a decent range, but that's all the poke that they have. Our poke is way better with Adriana. And as long as that uh, Nadine Luke team is in between us and the Sniper ISSL team, they can't hurt us. But instead, they were literally right beside the tree. They literally saw it got taken on the map, but they choose not to do anything because they have no vision. Uh, these are wimp gamers, and they decide to leave. They decide to just not contest. I'm putting down the bamboo traps just for experience. And the Nadine Luke get away completely scot-free. Um, yeah. If we would have engaged on them, we would have made a ton of noise and we would have got third party. And then we see the Rat 11. It's just kind of sad. Uh... On the misplays here, uh, there's a funny moment here. Uh, you see this auto? You, you see how, how this should kill the 11? Well, it doesn't, because she leveled up from taking damage. Or moving, or whatever the fuck. If she would have gotten away, that would have been extremely frustrating, but... <laughs> Dies in the nick of time. I was crafting this for XP. Swapping out my diatom for attack ups. Get some more trap experience. It doesn't do any damage. Uh, the reason why we want to disengage from there. Actually, stop. I I'm going to stop the clip here. Right here. Th this is fucking stupid. So basically, the reason why we don't want to engage on the Sniper Eye and Cicela is because both of those characters are terrible matchups into us. Uh, Cicela's entire thing is if you can't one-shot her, uh, her health lowers, uh, she gets uh, lots of free flat amp, she gets lots of free health regen, and neither of our characters are burst characters. You can see the Linux is no SP. Uh, while they can drink, uh, it's like they're not immediately able to do their entire combo. Uh, Sniper Aya is, has very long range, very good poke, and we can't afford to focus the sniper Aya, so it's it's just safer for us to leave. Uh, what I do here is a micro misplay. This is extremely stupid. Uh, cameras are not worth dying over. I, I really want cameras because we have like we have zero fucking vision, and I really want the camera. I should die for this. Like I turn back and I greed loot. I greed loot on 166 MS. This should be a kill. Like this ball right here should go into a grab and I should die. The fact that it is not is only because the Cicela has the reflexes of a fucking dead cat. There was a misplay. I should have died. 100%. Hyunwoo's here. That's scary. We don't know if he's a rat or not. He eased to run away instead of aggressing into us. Uh, we see him in the corner here. He's a rat. He's definitely a rat. But uh, we don't want to die to the Cicela and Aya.
Jung Woo goes over here, so we want to go over here. We want to cut him off. We so so basically how the, how this scenario should work is Cecilia and Aya can stay here to cut off here. We go up to cut off here. Hyun Woo basically chooses who to die to. He decides who he wants to die to. The Nadine and Luke are far enough away, and the Yuki and the Lee Dai Lin are far enough away where they cannot interfere. Hyun Woo should die here. Like, no question. Like, literally all they have to do is stand here. All we have to do is stand here. He has nowhere else to go. The avenue is closed. Uh, cemetery is closed. You see Hyun Woo run up, and you see the Aya and Cicela team abandon their post. They abandon their post to run at us. I still remember this because this made me so angry. Hyun Woo just doubled back and gets out for free. They run at us to make sure that uh, we can't get the kill. Like, they, they don't care if Hyun Woo lives or not, they just want to deny us LP. And then at that point, it doesn't matter if Hyun Woo actually went out there or not, or doubled back. Uh, we can't do anything about it. Like, we, we, we just have to leave. We have a really bad matchup into them. There is absolutely no reason to force it. Klein Clatters gets me a level up. I'm telling you, these things are fucking awesome. Klein Clatters are the best. Notice how we're specifically walking on this edge. So if there's somebody in that bush, they have to go out of the bush and we have time to react. There's no, there, there's nobody left in the game that can uh, have like a very high uh, engage range. Lee Dai Lin's dead, and that's the only character that can really do that. I'm not going to get Butler's suit, but it'd be really nice if we got RNG mats and Butler's suit showed up. It'd be really nice. I would really enjoy a Butler suit instead of a uh, rocker's jacket. You see the Luke? I don't really want to fight him because we don't have a lot of information. Uh, right here, this bus check is extremely late. Uh, if the Yuki, for example, had been in here, I would have died. That was an extremely greedy bush check. That was extremely lazy. Um, yeah. That was another potential death. <clears throat> Here, we're in a very scary situation. Night had just fallen. There's somebody who has cameras in hotel. We have no vision. No vision is a very terrible place to be this late in the game. This is day three. There are 13 people alive. That means there are probably going to be people in every zone. Uh, there is going to be a clown fiesta. Wick just spawned. Uh, check over here. We see the pings. This is very unsafe. And people are starting to die. We see pings in the hotel. Yuki rolls up. Here's Adela. We saw we just saw pings over here in hotel. Wicks right here. Fighting would be immensely stupid. We would get third party and die. Like we have no information other than there is lots of people around us. The is the team is here. They are in hotel. They are fighting. Getting cams is the most important thing if we can get it without dying. There are surveillance cameras around. Uh, they're fighting. They're fighting. They're ignoring Wick. So that means we get to do Wick. We get to do Wick because... Everybody else decided fighting was more important, so we just get free Wick. Wick is absolutely fantastic on Adriana. 
Adrian is the best Wick user in the entire game. We really enjoy Wick. Wick is great. What would be really nice at this point is uh, some snares and taproots. That'd be really cool. We essentially know that nobody's here. Like uh, somebody could have theoretically gone from forest and gone here and killed me there, but the chances of that is so in infinitesimally small that it's just uh, you see Hyunwoo, he teleports here. This is a free kill. Uh, Sniper Eye and Cicela are here. There's the Luke. This is just a free kill. This is free. You you can't teleport. I, I I'm a I'm an Adriana. You can't do that. You you step on my trap. I get some trap XP. Very cool. You choose to walk back. That's okay. You use your E, so I'm in no danger. They like they can't turn around on me or anything once they use their E. Um, very good CC dodge. Very good CC dodge. Uh, but you know the the chase is just um, it's a little bit too much. He's just barely uh, not able to uh, run. Making purified water, that's a lot of XP. We like XP. We're looking for snares. Walking here, uh, it's a lot better for the Linux to do it because Linux is a tank and uh, nobody left in the game can uh, one round Lennox. Lennox is extremely tanky, and if somebody came out from that bush and all in the Lennox, then it's cool. Theoretically, somebody could have stayed in that bush and been uh, gigantic brained, and waited for a Lennox to go over, waited for me to assume that it was safe, and then all in me and kill me. And that would have been a game ender. But most people aren't that patient. Most people are just going to all in the first person that they see and uh, throw the game. We need to go into chapel. It's all well and good. Get the camera. Our, our, our camera, uh, I guess control has not been great this game, and that's something we're actively trying to improve on. Uh, Linux got most of the materials, but I, I, was, I was really slack in this game. And uh, keeping binoculars in my inventory, etc. I should have also prepped a butler's suit. So there's a giant fight down here. The sniper, I, uh, the Alex, uh, the Yuki. Alex Yuki is pretty common. Uh, they're both extremely strong right now. Got the Alex alt. This is, I, I, I guess, one of those things that it's just like what type of player you are. The Clispy goes in because he's greedy as fuck. He, he, he's like, I'm tanky, I can survive walking through the Caltrops and eating the entire Alex all. I leave because I, I, I don't want to do that. I, I don't want uh, them to stop fighting, turn around, and kill us for whatever reason. And he is tanky. His, his health uh, barely goes down. So, at this point, this, between the Sasella ult and the Aya Q, uh, this Yuki is dead. This Yuki has Scotty, this Yuki has Glacial Shoes. We really want those later. Linux immediately goes in on the Aya because this is really good for us. This is really, really, really good for us. Sasella's down. Aya dies. Sasella was the one that we could not kill. So, we <laughs> so fighting Sasella would be extremely risky for us, so having another team do our dirty work for us is amazing. Uh, go out here just to see if Alex is going to do anything. Uh, see if he's going to res Ale uh, uh, his teammate Yuki. I want Yuki's items. <laughs> Yuki has some great items. 
I don't really care about what sniper I had. I don't really care what cell I had right now. I want to finish off this Yuki kill because that that Yuki team had uh, a nice six kills. A dropping bracelet Scotty because it's better on the melee. Uh, I'm keeping glacial shoes because that's better on me. I get prominence. Prominence as Adriana with Wick buff is the best item possible, in my opinion. Um, having that CDR is fucking awesome. We like it. So basically the decision here is we could blind TP, which would be really stupid. It, it, it would be really dumb, <laughs> because that's how you lose the game. Or we could choose to walk through uh, cemetery. The reason why we wait until uh, this is almost done is we want satellite cams, like it's about ready to turn into the daytime. We want satellite cams to reveal the team here. Uh, where, wherever the last uh, three people are, we want satellite cams to reveal them, uh, because we don't want to like blindly rush into our deaths. So we see here uh, the Nadine and the Luke are in combat with the lone Alex. So Alex is fighting a 1v2. Uh, they see us. We're about halfway through cemetery. We're not very fast. Like, I, I, under no circumstances am I going to use my E to go faster because that's asking to die to Luke. You can see they're still fighting. This is, this is extremely, extremely, extremely greedy. Like they, they're a team. They're a team of two. They can choose to disengage at any time. Uh, they choose to completely disrespect us and chase an Alex. Uh, neither of those characters, Nadine or Luke, is going to catch Alex. Alex is one of the best rats in the entire game. He has one of the best disengages in the entire game. Uh, there is no universe in which uh, they catch him before we like move over without using like all of their cooldowns and we clean up. Like this is extremely greedy. <laughs> Luke here is being a terrible melee. Um, so basically, as a melee, your job in a comp, like especially with especially with Nadine, like Nadine does so much damage. Nadine is your hyper carry. As a melee, you do not hide behind your ranged. If you hide behind your ranged, you 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 are fucking useless. Like the Lennox walks up, uh, she's threatening the whip. If she whips, uh, Luke. The game is not immediately over. If she look, if she whips the Nadine, the game is completely over. Luke turns back to ult. I have no idea why every Luke in the known universe does this. It's it like, and then there you go. There's the whip skill. Instead of covering his Nadine player, you could argue that Nadine should have ran uh, behind the Luke, but ultimately that's that, that's that's the fucking melee's job is to body block shit like this. Um, they could have still turned the fight around. The Nadine has a cool 200 stacks, uh, which isn't a tremendous amount, but it's it's your best shot. Like your your best shot is for Nadine to do enough damage to kill both of us. Um, it, it's it's just how it is. Like as Luke, you go in. If Lennox whip skills you, you all in. Uh, attack who you can, and like you have to take the two v two. You have to do it because as soon as this happens, the game is over. Like. At, at, at this point, like, Lennox whip skill, you get the knockup, you get pulled back, and then you get Adriana RW'd. Uh, the E skill was already down because the Nadine wasted it, uh, chasing the Alex, so th they're they're just dead. It's just... <laughs> that, that's, just that's just horrible. <laughs> they greeted for the rat and, decide, and completely uh, just positioned wrong, and they get punished for it. They have food, very cool. They have cameras, very cool. We like cameras. Now there are two rats left. It is just the Alex and the Luke. We see Alex. We see Luke. Luke is chasing Alex. Alex has no HP. I whiff my R. Alex decides to give us the kill. He's a very nice dude. Luke gets second and dies. The 
Luke team ends with zero kills because they just horribly, horribly, horribly misplayed the 2v2. Like, th that's not a comp that automatically loses to us. They just ext they just extremely, extremely, extremely mis misplayed. Um, we avoided the Sniper Aya and Cicela team the entire game and just waited for a better situation to pop up. Uh, they chose to fight in Chapel, and we were able to third party and eliminate the team that uh, was worst for us. Yuki's also an exceptionally bad matchup, which is why I charged at him. Uh, I don't really care about Alex. Like, uh, Alex is whatever. He, he can't really, uh, like, he... Alex can get away from anyone. Chasing Alex is stupid. Yuki can also kind of get away from everyone, but he can't get away from Sniper Aya and Cicela, so it's very good that they fought. Um, that Luke was pretty transitioned. Um, he would have been able to do a lot of damage if he came in, and obviously the Nadine with ult. Uh, I don't know if Nadine ulted the lone Alex. If they did, you know, that's that's just another uh, micro misplay. Uh, so the two teams that were the scariest, the six kill and the four kill, kind of just killed each other, and then that was just rat cleanup. And you go in, this is my first game after Diamond. This is a cool seven kill game. Um, I'm basically fully transitioned at this point. Um, our Lennox is also basically fully transitioned at this point. We go in, boom, 55 LP, 